I have a really deep question. Let's do and it. Maybe it's not that deep. <laughs> what is your why? I hated myself. So straight up, <laughs> um, I had a lot of really, really bad self-deprecation issues um, all through high school. And, you know, I was a pretty happy-go-lucky guy for the most part, and that's genuine. But there was also, like, like kind of like back to what I said earlier, you get a lot of backhanded, you know, compliments, you know, like you get a lot of disrespect that's hidden under jokes. But, like, at the end of the day, you're the butt of the joke 99% of the time. If you guys get in a fight with somebody, if you get in a fight with one of your friends, oh, but you're fat, so you lose. That's how it is every single time. Every single adds. time. Every single time. That's how it goes. Um, so that was not helpful. Um, you know, that I had a lot of, you know, didn't like what the mirror looked like ever. Um, that wasn't fun. And I, like I said, I was, I was pretty active. I liked lifting. I liked going to the gym, but I ate for a family of seven every night. So it made it difficult. Um, but yeah, it was definitely my why when I actually started, it was like, okay, if I can't do it now, I'm never doing this shit, you know, like it's time to go. And so, and I've had plenty of bouts of temporary, uh, motivation, but motivation is fleeting. Motivation does not last forever. So, but yeah, my why was, I really would like to stop shitting on myself all the time and like what I see in the mirror and finish what I start. That was a big one. You know, you always, I would always start things and never finish them. Now I never, never not finish something, you know? So that's kind of what the mental stuff comes in. But yeah, for me personally, I never, I know a lot of people, I have a lot of mutuals that were, you know, um, suffered with depression and suffered with some pretty scary thoughts. I was not in that. Um, but I know a lot of people that struggle with their weight that were, I, I know them. I've spoken to them. They're my mutuals are also creators on TikTok. Like I know a lot of people that struggle with that. I did not struggle with that specific issue, but, um, the self image thing was big. So, so you said you had like <clears throat> spurts of motivation. Oh yeah. Did you ever have like a movie or like, hmm. did you ever have like things like little things that would be your motivators for a while? 100% dude. 100%. Those? Oh, um, you know, watch a motivational movie, listen every once in a while, just Google motivational music, YouTube 2022, or at the time 2016 or whatever, you know, and then have some random military boots, uh, you know, sergeant <laughs> screaming in your ear. You're going to go run around your neighborhood and then you're exhausted and you go eat four Oreos and drink, you know, a bunch of milk and, you know, just eat a bunch of ramen and just go to sleep. It's like, okay, I did my work. Like, All right. <laughs> um, that stereotypical stuff like that. Cause I was a kid, you know, um, David Goggins, was a big one. Oh yeah. If you know who David Goggins yeah. is, I do not like idolizing human beings. I do not like putting people on a pedestal, but that man is my hero, like 100,000%. Um whenever I was losing steam a little bit on the actual journey itself, pop in my pop him it's still to this day, it's like a superpower. If I got Goggins in my ear, no one's outworking me. Like that sounds super cringy and it is, so whatever. But if I got Goggins in my ear or there's another guy named Jocko Willink yeah, military man. Yeah, highly recommend watching his stuff. Those two, if I have them in my ear, I'm not stopping. Is that so? You want? To, is that your goal to be just like them? In no, because you're too. I feel like you're too nice <laughs> to just be like. You are uh, that's a that's a good parallel. That's a good thing to talk about. So when I would watch them when I was younger, I would get temporary bouts of motivation, but I never developed the discipline. That's the thing. Motivation and discipline are different. Discipline is doing things every single day that you don't want to do, but you know you got to do them anyway. You know. Um, motivation is like, oh, I feel really good. I'm going to go, 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 go. And then it goes away in two days, you know. That, but they would give me motivation, but then, you know, I would just do it myself. And if I really needed a little extra kick in the butt, then I'd watch them. That's when it kind of got the difference. But do I want to be like them? No. Um, do I emulate a lot of what they do? And do I respect a lot of the lifestyle choices they've made? Yes. Do I look up to them? Yes. Do I look, to, look up to them as men? Yes. Um, but the only, I mean... That style of motivation is not for everybody. That style is for me, but I know it doesn't work for everybody. My job, I try to make it as easy as possible for other people. That's my job. My job is to make it as easy and as seamless as possible. I'm supposed to integrate it into your life, change a couple little habits, you lose a bunch of weight, and then I leave. And then now you know everything you possibly need to know, I'm gone. Yeah. That's my job. I'm not here to transform. I am here to transform your life, but I'm not here to turn it upside down. They create change by turning your life upside down. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well- so, like, basically... I'm going to take you out of your habitat, move them over here, and I'm going to change your sleep, 
I mean, you're going to sleep. You're going to feel like shit. You're going to run 30 miles a day. You can do a thousand pull-ups a day. Like, does it work in a vacuum? Sometimes, yeah. But is it sustainable for everybody? Absolutely not. But I use them for myself. So they're for me. That's my motivation. You know, that's that stuff works for me. And the mental things, you know, the scripts that I run in my head when I'm listening to them and the motivation and the fire I feel when I listen to those guys um, <clears throat> works for me. But I know it doesn't work for everybody. So. Because there will be, I feel like that's what advertisements get wrong is they'll be like, we will transform you. You mm -hmm. will have an eight pack. You mm -hmm. will be shredded. Mm -hmm. You will eat. Not, you can, and some of them are like, you can eat this pepperoni pizza yeah. and oh, yeah. look like this, which yeah. is like, all right, first of all, no way. <laughs> but I love, for me, I mean, I've never, I've had the luxury of never having the habits of wanting to, oh, like, mm -hmm. or, and I've had a metabolism that's, I feel like, been very easy on me. Mm -hmm. um, so when I see those, I'm not really, I'm not really searching out for basically what you're offering. Right. But if I was in the shoes, I would want to hear, hey, I'm going to turn these little things around, which will make a bigger, probably mm -hmm. a big impact. Mm -hmm. Instead of hearing, I'm going to train, it's more like, it feels more real, Yeah, I guess. I don't know if that makes sense. <clears throat> oh, it, it, and that's kind of what I'm going for. And sometimes there, there are definitely hiccups with, I mean, I've only really been in business for five months, so I'm still learning. Obviously, I'm always going to be learning. But, you know, it's a lot, it'd be a lot easier to sell a six week, six pack boot camp, you know, guaranteed BS results that everybody wants. That's easier because they want fast. Everybody wants fast. Everyone wants easy. I can give you easy, but I can't give you fast. You know, if you wanted to keep it off, you got to be patient. You got to trust the process. You got to be okay with the scale not moving this week. Because guess what? You're down a belt loop in your pants. That's huge. Yeah. You know? And identifying that is another thing I like to do. But um, just telling people, hey, man, we're working together for six months. It's week two. You're going to be okay. I mm -hmm. promise. You know, I'm going to get you where I, I know what I'm doing. You got to trust me. I mean, not like people are calling me freaking out. You know, not like that doesn't happen. <laughs> and that doesn't happen. But selling that can yeah. be a little bit more difficult because I'm never going to break my morals. I'm never going to say like, okay, yeah, I can get that to you in two months, you know, and I guarantee it and you'll never lose it. Like everybody's different. My job, I'm going to learn a lot about you first. The first two weeks is testing the waters of who this person is, you know. Do they miss their workouts? Oh, this person never misses anything? Cool. I don't have to worry about that. Let's move on, you know. Got to learn about that. So, but yeah, no, it's, it's definitely a, a, an interesting balance to find. So, But I feel like your business, the way you're building it from – integrity and basically you're almost a friend i mean you said all the people i've worked with and helped are mm -hmm. my friends now like you're giving this connection to people which is <laughs> so rare in the industry in your industry that i feel like yes probably will it take you maybe more years than it would if you're like you're gonna do a thousand what you're saying you're gonna do mm -hmm. a thousand push you're gonna mm -hmm. do all this stuff mm -hmm. that's like all the glitz and glamour but you're gonna be making like everyone you've worked with is gonna be saying hey mm -hmm. it felt so comforting so mm -hmm. i feel like you're building your company up just who you are and that's awesome to see.